the population in Lafay is a, a predominantly Hispanic, Spanish-speaking um, population that comes from a more modest uh, income background. Um, and what's interesting here is that we, we get a lot of patients who are diagnosed kind of later in their disease state because they don't typically seek medical care unless they're feeling sick. So we have a lot of patients here recently who have come in um, with A1Cs 12, 13, 14 at diagnosis and they, they haven't had any symptoms um, and they haven't been to a doctor at all in their adult life and so their diabetes has never been picked up. If you live with the Mexican diet, you may eat um, a primary meal at 11 a.m. Um, your biggest meal might be at 3 in the afternoon, and your evening meal may be a small soup or very light meal about 8 p.m. And so if you start giving a patient insulin, if we give that twice a day, that's not going to match the food intake that the patient has. They've seen that the price of vegetables has gone up that it's even more expensive than meats. So they, it's easier for them to buy a, the meat instead of buying vegetables. They don't have accessibility in this little area uh, to be able to go to a Walmart or somebody that has a bigger produce area. And knowing that they're just taking you know, every little bit out of their paycheck when they do receive money just to pay for their medications, I see that as just being a huge, huge barrier um, for them. And a lot of them won't do it because of money. Well, I can't afford it, so you know, I'll do one, I'll do the metformin, but you know, I'm not gonna do the insulin, I'm not gonna get the syringes, I'm not gonna get the strips and the lancets and the meter. I'm not gonna do all that because I can't afford it. Some of our patients will walk to Mexico because it's literally five minutes from here, <laughs> from where we're located, and get their medications or see family. A lot of them wanna take their hierbas, you know, natural herbs, natural healing. And so it's, it's easy for us. I, that's how I grew up. You know, if I have a stomach ache, if I have a headache, if I have a cold, my mom will want to give me natural herbs. Uh, that is usually our first reaction, not necessarily, oh, let's schedule an appointment to go see the doctor. One in particular, um, fairly recently, her A1C, I think she started out like 12, or 13, she knew she had diabetes, but she refused to come in. It, the, the change has just been so great, and she's she's doing insulin, she's afraid of insulin, and so now she's injecting, and she's like, it's nothing, I can do this, you know, it's not a problem, I'm gonna tell my friends, um, and and she's she feels good. She's like, I just have so much more energy, I'm so happy to be alive now, and I feel like I can control this, and it's not something that's gonna control me, so. I've had a couple of uh, patients who come back and they've lost 20, 30, 40 pounds. And they tell me, wow, I feel better. Uh, they cut down my medication and making their diabetes a little bit, I guess, a little bit easier for them. That's why I call her my little angel. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, no, I don't think I know. If I had gone elsewhere and they had discovered my diabetes, I don't think I could have made not even half as well progress as I have here. I know I wouldn't have it, because all the clinic is there to help people. If we just look at the medications and don't understand their family needs or their, um, their cooking um, support or how, where they buy their foods, then we're missing the picture. We're really not being a part of the integrated system. And I would love to see um, us really involved in the patient's care, and not just one or two doctors, but the whole clinic. Kind of seen as like their, their diabetes provider, and not in a sense that we're taking over the doctor's role, but that we're there really to help out with their diabetes, and if they have questions, they come to us. They're, they have a heart. They help people because they can read our faces when we need the care they know and at other places where you're just a number uh, patient number so and so and you just go in and you tell them oh my head hurt or this or that okay take this and goodbye and they don't everybody here cares